What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to the Atlanta Hawks series. This is season two, and I'm gonna let y'all know from the get-go, this is it, y'all. This is the last chance of trying to make this team work. If it doesn't happen this year, expect major changes. We feel like we made some adjustments in the offseason to make a team that's built properly around Trey Young. We added some valuable pieces like Laurie Marketing, Ryan Dunn in a draft, Dalton Connect. We went out, we made the proper moves to build a team that has defense, that has shooting, and that has complementary players next to Trey Young that doesn't necessarily take the ball out of his hands. So here we are. We are in the last spot of this. Like I said, if this doesn't work, expect major changes. The first half of this season is going to be very important. It is very important that we get off to a really good start because if this team starts to slip, we might start seeing a lot of selling come to deadline. But as always, I appreciate y'all. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure you subscribe. Everybody else, y'all make sure you hit that like button for me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, y'all. So real quick, like I said in the intro, this is a real big season for us. I'm going to go through some things to remind everybody how we're looking and how we are coming to start the season. So first and foremost, um, rotations. Very simple. We're going to play a lot of minutes um, with Trey Young on the floor. We're going to see a lot of minutes with Laurie Marketing on the floor and Jalen Johnson. That, that's our big trio that we're uh, putting a lot of a, a lot of stock into. We're not going to call them a big three. We're not we're not that delusional of an organization, but we are going to lean on them to be our main three, our core three. Um, before we dive all the way into the rotation, I know looking at that brings up obvious questions, and I've seen a lot of people speak on it in the last video. Yes, Trey Young is an 84. The reason Trey Young is an 84 is not necessarily due to the roster. I know this is a specific roster. This is attention to detail. So a lot of the, the ratings for different players, you know, aren't the usual things that you see in the standard 2K roster. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. Trey Young hit a big regression. For whatever reason, 2K, they made him regress significantly. He, he took a big hit, as you can see. And what eventually happened was, like I've said in a previous episode before, this right here, the intangible rating, the intangible rating gives players a boost to their overall rating. And in the attention to detail roster, plus with my boy Sim Game and Network, um, there's a formula that you use at the beginning and the end of each season. And the top 30 players get a boost to their intangible rating. So because Trey Young did not meet the top 30, after the regression, he didn't get his boost, which would have probably made him around an 86 to an 87. So you look around the league, LaMelo Ball, you see he is a 50 intangible because he hit the top 30 players. Um, and then the top of the top, you know, get the 75. And then guys like Luca, top 10 players in the league, they get the 99. So it goes top 10, get 99. Then that next batch is five players, which is the, the you know, um, 11 through 15 or 11 through 16. The, the next five after the top 10 get 75. And then that last 15 of the top 30 um, get an intangible boost to 50. So all of those different things Trey Young missed. And he is now an 84. Usually he does make the cut, which is why you saw him last year as an 87 or 88. I can't remember. But the regression made him lose his spot. And he is now 84. I don't mind it, man. I, I, at first, I was like, damn, they doing us like that. But when I look deep into it, a lot of his stuff and his ratings are still the same. It's really just that intangible, um, intangibles boost. So it looks crazy that he's an 84. But really, the numbers, the performance and everything he was doing last year, it was based on 84 overall. The intangibles doesn't make them play any different. I, I've, I'm going to sound like a broken record. The intangible rating and attribute is literally just to provide you a boost to that overall. But it doesn't make him dribble faster. It doesn't make him pass better. It doesn't make him shoot better. He still has his badges. And if you look at the actual actual attributes, 89 close, 87 mid, 84. These are the numbers he had last year when he was hooping. So, um, you know, we're, we're, we're going to rock it out. We're going to have him play with a big chip on his shoulder. And as long as he got those 38 badges and a lot of these attributes, we still feel confident. Um, Jalen Johnson took some steps a little bit and so did Grimes. Um, but I just wanted to get that out of the way because I know a lot of people are going to be like, he's an 84. He's an 84. I know they did us dirty, but what can we do? You know what I mean? We're going to cry about it. We're going to go out and play. We're going to go out and play. So we got Trey Young, Thibel. We're playing Laurie Marketing at the three. We're going to have an ultra big lineup. Uh, we're playing Jalen Johnson at the four. And then we're going to play Clint Capella at the five. 
Clint Capella um, is an 80, but so is a Conwu. So they're going to split those minutes at 24 apiece um, over the course of a 48 minute game. Quentin Grimes is going to play 26 minutes off that bench. And we're hoping that he takes some steps to be able to become a guy who can get 30 minutes and maybe ultimately be the legitimate six man. I like a Kongo at the six man though, just because him and Capella got to sub in, sub out for each other so much. Jalen Smith and Schroeder, um, those are gonna be our guys that get 13 minutes. They're just getting those minutes because we ultimately feel like Ryan Dunn and Dalton Connect are just not ready for those minutes and I don't wanna throw them in a the fire as day one rookies. And obviously Adrian Griffin is out of the rotation and we're eventually gonna find him a home as the season goes on and teams have injuries or as teams have needs, we'll be able to shop him around. But right now, we're gonna just uh, go with a nine-man rotation. Another thing I wanna bring up, we signed Andre Iguodala. Andre Iguodala will not play a single minute this season. He's basically been signed as an assistant coach because he has not retired yet. And y'all know the old 2K is when you retire, these guys could become head coaches, assistant coaches, and things like that. We haven't had that privilege yet of having him be in the coaching uh, staff availability. So we're just going to manually make him a coach and his coaching is going to come from the mentorship program where you're going to see andre iguodala mentoring um ryan dunn you know our defensive minded uh older rookie who played a few years at virginia who's going to come in and at some point he's going to get some minutes somebody's going to get hurt something's going to happen he's going to find himself getting an opportunity and we're going to look at him to make most of it on the defensive side of the basketball and we took Andre Iguodala to bring him in, take him under his wing, work with him one on one. And um, he's over here trying to get these defensive badges to go up. So that's a that's a, a job and a, a role we gave Andre Iguodala. Same type of role you'll see in real life. Earlier today online, I saw uh, Duncan Robinson in real life working, working out with the Heat. And he was being um, trained one on one with like Wayne Ellington. You know, players just get jobs like that, ex players, where it's like, hey, Come work with the team and we'll have you work with a group of players or a specific player um, and consult them or, or, you know, you know, coach them, whatever. So that's what Iguodala is doing for Ryan Dunn. Some of the other mentorships that you'll see, obviously, Capella and Okongwu um, makes sense that they tie it up to the hip. And then you have our last one, which is Dennis Schroeder working with Quentin Grimes. The reason Dennis Schroeder is working with Quentin Grimes, I know it may seem odd. We want to expand on Quentin Grimes having guard like abilities and being able to put the ball on the floor. That's a big hole in this game um you know that that he had when he came in he came here but in our second half run and our play-in and playoff run we really enjoy quentin grimes having a ball in his hand so we really want to add on to that and empower him more and more especially as a guy coming off the bench and sometimes closing games with trey young having trey young play off of him was a big plus in the playoffs so um he's getting the ankle breaker bailout and then relay passer and then at some point we may switch it up and try to get him touch passer or need a threader um, so yeah, one thing that I did notice with the mentorship stuff, looking at our roster completely through, we don't really have that many veterans. We're kind of young. Iguodala is not going to play at all. But other than that, we only have two other guys who are 30 and above. Everybody else is extremely young. So when we do trade Adrian Griffin, I'm kind of leaning to going out and getting somebody that can be an older presence. You know what I mean? I'm not necessarily looking for a guy that's going to change um, anything crazy about how we play or be too much of an impact on the floor but i definitely want to get a veteran guy who we can you know lean on during uh, certain situations and, and always you know having somebody that we can count on being ready to play when these guys are young and a rookie just like real life it's hard to really count on them and get certain consistencies you'll see that in 2k I, that's one of the few things that they do kind of have um locked down where your younger players aren't going to be consistent um shit some of your old players ain't gonna be consistent but we'll definitely be looking to get some type of veteran presence because that's something i did not realize until i was making our rotation so um yeah that's that's basically how we looking to start um it's not the idea that we had when we were going into the offseason we definitely looked at a situation where we would have him Trey Young being kind of a Steve Nash, Jalen Johnson kind of being a Mari Stoudemire and looking to emphasize them playing a lot faster. Obviously, bringing in Laurie Marketing kind of slows that down. But we like that we have somebody who is efficient and can be a co-star or a complimentary star next to Trey Young. And they can play off of each other. It's different and easier to have Laurie Marketing, somebody who's 
elite playing off of the ball and not having a basketball in his hands, playing with somebody who's elite with the basketball in his hands versus trying to bring in another dynamic guard or another dynamic player that operates with the basketball in their hands. So hopefully this marriage can work early. And then Jalen Johnson, I don't think anybody you bring in will affect how he gets his because he's a uh, he's dynamic in the front court. So that's pretty much how we rock. And another thing that I do want to bring up that kind of pissed me off and put a little chip on our shoulder, I'm not going to lie, is uh, where is it at? Where is it at? We had uh, power rankings, right? And I think uh, ESPN might have did them. Bro, they got us all the way down here at 27. The power rankings think that we are going to suck. We're going to be a bottom four, bottom four, bottom five team. That's how they really view us. They look at Orlando as the same way, which is surprising because Orlando looks really, really good on paper. They got a little bit of everything. Um, but yeah, man, this was very disappointing. They got us down here with the Washington Wizards, the Jazz, the Bulls. You know what I mean? Like they think the Portland Trailblazers are going to be better than us this year. They think the Portland Trailblazers are going to have a better team than us. They think the Hornets are going to be better than us. The Hornets are starting a second year player and a rookie, a third year player. Like they think they're going to be better than us. And it's not just 2K. You go over to Eric and Eric thinks the same thing. Eric got us down here at 27. He has Brooklyn being better, Portland being better, Charlotte being better. Uh, he got a little bit more respect on Orlando's name, but it's just like, damn, y'all think that bad of us. But NBA.com, they have us up here in the middle of the pack. They have us being as good as Phoenix and Denver. They got a lot of hope in Detroit. But um, yeah, man, that, that kind of pissed us off just a little bit, seeing us be that low because I felt like we made some moves and some adjustments. That's going to have us a little bit better than being at the bottom of the barrel with some of these other teams. Um, another thing we're going to do to start this one off the new year, the random event generator brought to us, brought to you by um, attention to detail. Again, I'm always shot them out whenever I use it. Head over to the attention to detail, sign up to the Patreon. You'll be able to get this wonderful event, random event generator. So one of the things that came up for us was they wanted us to do a, grass is greener so it says a player on a new team has his shooting layup close shot mid three-point attributes increased by three each the random team that was pulled up to match with this random event was the cavaliers and a new player that they added to their team is gordon hayward so we're going to boost gordon hayward's close shot his layup his layup by three each one two three they also said do his close shot which is one, two, three, his mid range, one, two, three, and his three point shot, one, two, three. So Gordon Hayward's getting a big shooting boost. He's gonna be even better for the Cleveland Cavaliers. That was a, they had a very underrated off season in my opinion. They got, got their guards, they brought back Karras and Sam Arrell. Then you bring in Gordon Hayward, you still got Max Struess. Um, they brought in Kyle Anderson, and then they had uh, Klingon from uh yukon so to have these two whoo they got a lot of size um and i'm yeah somebody was in the comments or somebody hit me up like man pu was calling them clean again i don't know why i was I, sometimes there's so much going on in my brain ignore me when i say stupid shit definitely correct me and let me know so i can be aware i don't know what the hell i'll be doing and saying sometimes um so ignore me when i'm saying stupid shit uh the other thing was a thunder the Thunder were randomly selected for a random event that it was kind of it was kind of depressing. I ain't really want to do this, but I'm like, man, we got to do it somehow, some way. And this one is draw draw a team. The first player over 30 will retire immediately before training camp. Reduce all of his attributes to 25. Reduce his contract to the very minimum and cut him from the team. And that guy is going to be Royce O'Neal. I'm obviously not going to do it to Vucevic, but... Royce O'Neal is going to abruptly leave the NBA. Just like just like that. In our little world of this rebuild and this series, whatever you want to call it, Royce O'Neal like no longer exists. That's why I was like, I, I, do I want to do this? It's kind of heartbreaking to take somebody who's a part of the league in real life and just like diminish them. He's just he's just gone. He's just about to just be poofed into non-existence land. Everything that Royce O'Neal brought to the game hybrid defender three and d defender a guy that could be an irritant he was on a okc team that's competing for something they made some moves to bring him in 
brought him back with his boy Mikhail. He was supposed to, you know, help them in the playoffs as a vet, potentially get a championship ring because OKC is thriving. And now we just going to delete them. We just going to take them out of the system all the way through. So say goodbye to Royce O'Neal. I know he got a lot of diehard fans out there, a lot of stands. We uh we going to miss you, Roycey Royce. We're going we're gonna to take this all the way down just to reassure that nobody, nobody signs them. Once we get them under a 60, we should be good. But damn, man, Royce O'Neal, what a guy. What a guy. Wonderful career, 31 years old. Young, young retirement. 50, uh, what else should we do? Should we take, let's take everything down. I don't want nothing to be high. I know you got a high perimeter defense. Let's take it all down. Take it all down. Take it all down. Royce, Royce, Rolls Royce. Get him up out of here. We almost at a 50. Once we had a 50, I'm going to really feel comfortable. Nope. Anybody signing him at a 50 des deserves to just have a player at 50. Confirm. They say drop his money all the way to the, the minimum. Go to contract. And the least amount of money he can get is 1.14. And you release him. Royce O'Neal, gone. And then the last one we had is one that made me feel better after having to basically take a guy and let him go. I'm going to go to your Orlando Magic. And we're going to go, where's my guy at? It says draw a player between the ages of 22 and 24, minimum 72 overall. It is, this is called the most improved player. Now, what I'm noticing is that, but I'd say it's 25. But a part of me, a part of me, Part of me want to ignore that he's 25. What should I do, Jed Howard? Part of me want to ignore that he's 25. So what it is is you draw a player and you increase all of their shooting attributes, layup, close, mid, three, by 10, and their offensive consistency by 15, and all the other attributes by five. Increase sh shot, uh, shoot, and touch tendency by 15. So they, they want to create a random player to be all of a sudden like this breakout, most improved type player. Now, I could do this to Franz and make Franz just on steroids, so I could do this to uh, Paolo. I'm not a fan of guys like Paolo getting an award, being the most improved player, number one overall pick. I could do this to Jet Howard. Jet Howard could out of nowhere become the guy. But the reason that it kind of shied me away was because they just signed um, Buddy Hill. So Jet Howard would just basically be doing what Buddy Hill is doing. So I'm like, I'm going to do it for Goga. But, you know, but Dodd's even doing, shit in, doing this shit in real life. But I'm looking, and I might just do it to Suggs, right? Yeah, let's just do it to Suggs. Suggs was a guy that started off slow. He was a guy that started off extremely slow in his career. A lot of people were trying to write him off from day one. So what we going to do is, it says, boost his shooting, which is his layup, close, mid, and three. Layup, close, mid, and three by 10. Layup, close, mid. And three by 10, bro. And his offensive consistency by 15. <laughs> Damn. He about to be on steroids and make everything else go up by five. So his standing duck go up by five. His driving dunk go up by five. Bro, his free throw go up by five. Bro, he about to be crazy. This is about he. I can't wait to see like if he actually become the most improved player with with this. Uh, damn. With the with this boost, if he don't bro, if he don't become the most improved player with this boost, I don't know. Interior forty two, perimeter eighty five, bro. I'm, I damn it isn't still already on 99. I damn near wish this happened to one of our players. I should have like forced this to be the Hawks. I'm too, I'm too real. I should have cheated. That's my problem. I need to start cheating more for my own team. Cause if we could have got a guy with this type of boost, we Trey Young definitely wouldn't be getting traded.
boosting everything up. There it is, man. The magic. The magic about the man, man, man. The magic are about to be crazy, bro. I didn't realize that that said all of that. And I'm not dumb because I got to go to his tendencies. Jalen Suggs, his shoot and touch Tennessee by 15. I'm taking this down. The only reason I'm taking this down, y'all, is because I don't want him to have more touches than Paolo. Same thing with you. Y'all should not have more touches than Paolo. I don't give y'all 90, but y'all should not be having. Nobody on this team should have more touches than Paolo Ben Carroll. All right. Cool. That's all we got from the random event generator. It tells me that I should really be using the random event generator um every two weeks that we sim that's what it says but i'm gonna just try to do something like every episode um what else do we have i think that's it man we can we can get into our first game we got vic we got vic for the first game um is this a home game yes yeah, a home game we got our home opener against the, the san antonio spurs let's dive in and see what we got man first game of the year man here we go let's lock in spurs looking decent here we go. Come on, Trey. New year, new defense. New year, new defense. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of size out here. I, I like that. Jalen Johnson, Laurie Markinen, pick and roll, pick and pop. I, I kind of like that. The screen. Yes, sir. Matisse Stiebel, ladies and gentlemen. Matisse Stiebel. It's a great start to the year. All the doubters that had us 27th coming into the year. We finna set the tone. Yeah, good start. Laurie Marketing, your first bucket coming soon, baby. Don't worry. Don't stress. All NBA Trey. That's a good shot, Devin Vassell. That's a good shot. Watch out. Don't let, don't let. Yeah, they trying to get that ball to Vic. Stay, in, stay strong, Clint. Stay strong, Clint. He gonna do you in, but stay strong. Yup. Hey, that's Vic. That's Vic. I don't know why they not doing that a lot more. They should be doing that every play, in my opinion. Another one. Matisse Thibault. Another one. If we got, if Matisse Thibault gonna be a 40 point, three point shooter this year, we gonna be real good, man. Good D, Clint. Go, 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 go. Look at Matisse Stiebel. That boy Matisse. Get back, get back. No foul, don't foul, don't foul. Good help, Matisse, no foul though. That's a good finish. Nikola Topic. There you go, Larry Mark. Man, that's beautiful. That's, that's gonna be beautiful, y'all. To be able to have that now is gonna be extremely beautiful. Woo! Hey, Larry Marketing, game changer, game changer. That's a big, that's a big three for them. That's a big three. That's a big three for them. Finish that trade. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Great screen, Matisse. That's a great screen. That's a, hey, look at Quinn Snyder getting into his bag. Damn, Larry, you got at least go right there. That's Moses Moody on you. Larry starting off one of six. Shit. Uh-oh. Here go NBA Twitter. You know they talking about you, Larry. Ten-point lead after the first. I'm loving what I'm seeing from us. Trey Young, Larry Markin to play the whole quarter. We got to get Larry Markin in some easier buckets. He, I think we got some good looks. He'll make some. Uh, one of six, one of seven to start the start the game. Not the greatest, but I like the looks that we get in. Matisse Thibel, he's still that key play for us, key player for us. Start of the second, we still got Trey in. Trey, Trey not getting a break this year. Trey going, he going to play a lot of minutes this year. We, we trying to win games. Here we go. This is the debut of Dennis Schroeder back in Atlanta. Playing in the backcourt with Trey. 
get you some, Dennis. Yeah, Dennis. Dennis the Menace. This is a look that I'm interested to see how it goes to. Just because uh look, Chris Paul, Chris Paul getting Vic that ball. Chris Paul get he, Chris Paul come in first play. He say, Vic, you getting that basketball. That's good to see. Dennis the menace. Good boy, Khan will dunk his ass. Yes. Fontecchio, watch out. Look at look at the bench reaction. You gotta love it. But damn. Yeah. I think we may have to. Jalen Smith is a lot slower than I anticipated. Like he can't really cover that pick and roll like that. Like he might have to be shit. I thought he was gonna be a lot more rangier. He ain't got it. Oh, good D, Wimby. Good defense, Wimby. And uh, Nikola Topic, Wimby. There they go. Come on, Quinn Grimes. First three of the year. We missing too many threes, man. Too many threes. Wide open. Way too many. Yup, Trey. You got to get that, Trey. There you go. There you go. Get the big man the easy one, Trey. Good pass. Laurie needed that shit. Good D, Nicola Topic. Nicola Topic is nice, man. He is nice. The hand up. Single digit game, team. This is what happened when we miss open shots. Come on, Laurie. You got to make a shot, bro. There we go. Shit. Keep shooting, man. Keep shooting the basketball, please. Go at him, Trey. That's what I like. To see. That's Hawks basketball right there. That's Hawks basketball right there. Woo -wee! Get another stop. Come on. Let's build this lead. Help him, Clint. Help him, Clint. Go help, Clint. Damn. Davin Vassell moved really well without the basketball. If they gave Wimby the ball, they're going to have a nice little team. Good try. Good try. Good try. At least up double digits. Come on. That's Trey Young basketball. That's Trey Young basketball, man. That's Trey Young basketball. Ten and six. That's Trey Young basketball. You up. They're going to do it again. You back. Now you turn. Now they just did the same thing. We should have never went that high. Make Topa show us that he got that Trey Young range. Two for one. Good defense, Sohan. Too bad Trey Young on fire. Yup, go under. He's, he's making us pay. That's fine. Man, he is hooping. This this will be going to attack him at, though. Laurie marking it. We love it. Guess a good half. Go up. Go, go into halftime. Up double digits. We didn't build on a lead like I wanted, but it's still very good half. Good to see Larry Markin and making some shots. Trey Young still controlling the game. We need to put this young team away. Spurs are not a team that should be just hanging around, hanging around. It's time to put them away. Glad to see Jalen Johnson get that lob. Felt like he had a quiet first half as far as scoring. Try to get him some more easy ones. Um, but yeah. Larry Marketing, as long as he's making them shots, Trey Young is going to have a lot of room to operate, and we should be controlling the glass like no other. Y'all see right there, 25 rebounds to 16. That's been my biggest thing, man. Controlling that glass. We got a chance to night in, night out, really go in here and control the glass, and I think that's going to put us in a good situation. Uh, rebounding the basketball, especially on the offensive glass. So we can control the offensive glass with those minutes of Khan Wu out there. We're going to be real, real, real good. Jalen Smith for Conwell. Second chance looks with this team. Oh, man. Trey Young and, and Larry Markin are going to hurt you. 
There it is. And one. He's two. We got to get more of those. We should be. We should do so much screen and rolling, screen and popping. I would love we could do that same play, but Laurie and Jalen in there. You got one popping, one rolling, and then you got Trey coming off of there doing what he do, looking to dissect defenses. Trigger Trey. Trigger Trey. Forever I love Atlanta. Johnson dishes to Markinen. We ain't gotta force it. We ain't gotta force it. Fifteen points in the game. Back to Markinen. Takes the We ain't gotta force it. We ain't gotta force it. We ain't gotta force it. Flare screens just like you like in Utah. He missed. Wimby quiet. It's one of them nights for Wimby. Where he just quiet. Trey Young and fucking one. This shit is raps. Ryan Dunn, Don Connect, get ready to have y'all the fourth quarter where y'all can ball out. There you go, Matisse. We gone. Come on, come on. There you go. Get to that line. I don't know what that's about. Good hand, good hand up, Trey. That's a tough shot. Topic is really hooping like he's Wimby. I don't know what. Maybe we got to go in and put Wimby shooting Tennessee up because he is not shooting the ball how I would like to see. Dog, Larry. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Larry Marketing is spraying now, bro. He is spraying that thing. Put him in help. Ah, y'all. And it's a four point play. Pass, Larry. You got to make that, Jalen. Good pass. Yes. Yes. Good screen, Wimby. Good, good switch, Quinn Grimes. Get through, Trey. Damn. Good dump in. He passed it. He made it. Damn. Hey, Nikola Topic is. He is draining three. Like, he is hooping. Shit. Dunk on his ass. Yeah, Jalen Johnson. Like, play his game. Laurie. Let's hoop him. Moses. But Moses, Moody, stop playing with us before we send this bitch up. Stop acting like Quavo Boosie, you know what I mean? Ain't, 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 ain't court side. Stop playing with us before we send this motherfucker up, boy. Fuck is he pointing at like that? Don't have I'm, I'm a GM nigga. Get act. Good, Jeremy. Jalen. Quentin Grimes, I love it. Damn, Jeremy, so ham. Good D. Jeremy Sohan, that's that's incredible, man. Good defense. Get through, get through. Another one, bro. He 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 is he's on one. It's a 14 point game now. The second unit gotta get their shit together. I'm just letting y'all know right now. We are here to win games and we here to compete. Nobody on this second unit is really standing out. I love what I get from a Neka Kanwu, but like. Quentin Grimes ain't done nothing spectacular. We not really expecting Dennis Schroeder to do much because he's an older vet. But, like, Quentin Grimes, you're supposed to stand out. Jalen Smith, you're supposed to stand out. I'm trying. I'm trying, I'm looking to get something from y'all. I acquired. I went out and got Jalen Smith for a reason, not to fill up a roster spot. I got two rookies who do that. Looking for some production. We need a spot. We need a punch. When, when the offense ain't thriving like this. Who can come on the bench and get come off the bench and give us some type of spark? I ain't seeing it right now. I don't want to judge everything off one game, but damn. Y'all finna make me put Griffin in the middle of one of these rookies. Don't connect, gotta be able to make a shot. Another missed one. Come on, Matisse. Good block, Wimby. I seen it coming. Good block, Wimby. Chase him down, Jalen. Quinn Grimes, good shit. Come on, run, run. Quinn Grimes, make that one. Yeah, your ass is, man. This is a tough, brutal stretch, man. You got zero points, dog. Zero. Good dime, CP3 and one. Hey, I'm putting a rookie in. Good 
great pass and finish. There you go, Dennis. Den hey, Dennis is doing his part. He's doing everything I want him to do. Look, Dalton connect. Wide open, he made it. That's all. <laughs> The first shot, like, like, look, man, ready. We got to put two rookies out here in the fire. Effort, like, just go out there and hoop, man. We, we up, so come on. Good shot, Jalen Johnson. Good shot. Good shot, man. Yeah, damn. Got your ass posterized, too. Get him back, Jay. Yup. Get him back. That boy is a mit walking mismatch. Walking mismatch. Too much for Sohan. Put your head down. Can't guard you. And we didn't even need to put Larry. We didn't need to put Larry Mark and Trey Young back in. Matter of fact, I don't want them back in. Gordon Grimes, you're done for the day. Lara, you're done for the day. So is you, Trey. Look at that, bro. Look. It's that simple. It's that simple. If I can get a rookie that's going to come in and play 15 minutes, and be able to knock down some shots, he's going to play. We uh, Quinn Grimes, we, I don't need Quinn Grimes 30 minutes. I'll just give it up to two rookies, 15 apiece. Oh, we'll attach, we'll, we can attach the Adrian Griffin deal and make that bigger. We're going to come in and get guys who can play, though, man. I need some off that bench. Get to that line. Get to that line. That boy gonna shoot a thousand free throws this year. Uh, it doesn't happen too much in general. I just think a lot of times it's the stars. And so it Come on, Ryan. There you go. Get through. Look at Don Connect. Look at my young boys working. That's fine. But look at my young boys working, getting through the screen. Man, these dudes finna play. He better not make this. The, hey, these dudes finna play, y'all. These dudes finna play. I'm letting y'all know now. Get ready to see these young boys play. It's a good shot, Wimby. We should have did that in the first 35 minutes of the game. Dunk the ass. And one. Jalen Johnson, man. Jeremy Sohan, you finna have a long day in the film room. Good boy, Ryan Dunn. I couldn't hit them all, and they need every point they can get. Lost the Schroeder. It was a dazzling game for Johnson. And let's just say this. Don't jump. Don't jump, Vic Wimbiyama. Stop fucking jumping. 30-point 30, 30 game out of the gate for Jalen Johnson. Most improved player, man. Stop playing. He finna win it back-to-back -back years. The first two-time award winner. Look at Ryan Dunn. Look at Ryan Dunn, man. These young dudes came in and took these older dudes' spots, man. Took their spots. Rookies came in and that's that fourth quarter and showed me they can play. Dalton connect three threes. Ryan Dunn, good defense on Nikola Topic at the end. Nikola Topic may have been tied. Who knows? But good defense. Jalen Johnson, he's the man. Trey Young, Larry Marketing, incredible duo. Uh, Clinton and, and Aneka, go away to control the glass. Don't let Vic do whatever the hell he want to do. We're a really good team. We're a really good team, but I'm telling y'all this, moves are going to be made. If, if I can't get the production I want from guys, moves will be made. Trey Young, talk your shit, man. Uh-huh. Yeah, Trey. Trey Day. Ice Trey the gang. 
David, thank you as always. Ice trade again. Jalen Johnson, New Balance player of the game. Phenomenal work, man. Phenomenal work. Threes, dunks, and ones, free throws. He had a mid-range shot. Just, just, just phenomenal performance, man. I love that dude. I love having Jalen Johnson on my team. Excellent win, man. Excellent, excellent win. Great first night. Started off season 1-0. Jalen Johnson with a phenomenal performance, man. I will say this, though. We need guys who are coming off the bench like Quentin Grimes to really come to play. Like, we cannot afford for anybody to not do their part and pull their weight. This team has extreme potential if we can get everybody to play to their fullest potential. So if guys ain't performing and getting the production we need and we feel that we deserve in order for us to win, then guys won't be on this team long. I'm just putting that out there now. I'm not one to overreact, but I am one to overreact. I'll see y'all next episode. We out. Peace.